ネクソンが送る新作スマホ RPG それは救済の物語ビッツリー・オブ・セイバー女神と共に平和の地だよみがえるモンスターの脅威刑事戦世界のために戦えどこまでも広がる冒険があなたを待ち受ける相棒は心強いヘローたち相棒がいればきっとやれる超本格的育成システム搭載無限のやり込みと強化のループそれはまるでキャラ育成のテーマパークやり応えを求める全てのテーマに捧ぐもう一度 RPG にワクワクしようビッ Video Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Satoshi here, and today we have some great news about Trio of Saber Mobiles. But first thing first, before we get into that part, I'm going to give you guys a little history about Trio of Saber Mobiles, how did it start, and how did it come to today. Trio of Saber Mobile Remake was originally announced five years ago at G Star 2016, and the game was in development, by the way, because a lot of people is very excited and very hopeful that the game will be better than the PC version itself. Because during the OBT or open beta for the PC version of Trio of Saber, there was a lot of problems, which took a lot of time to fix over the years. And if anything, in my own opinions, the game is in a better position now compared to before. Moving forward between the years of 2016 and then 2019, there was no information or specific detail whether the game was abundanced or the game was still on development. However, by February 6, 2020, the Nexon Thailand reviewed a new title for the upcoming mobile MRPG and that was RE3 of Saber or aka 3 of Saber Mobile Remix. So I actually did make a post last year and talking about it and as far as I know, there were no specific information whether the game going to be released in the years of 2020 or 2021. May 21st, 2021, we received the first look of the, I guess you could say like a trailer sneak peek of RE3 of Saber. It looked pretty good at the same time until we hit this part, the gacha. Okay, so you're probably thinking, wait, wait a minute, is this a gacha? Is this a gacha based MRPG like Genshin Impact? Well, not exactly. So at first, I thought it was actually the gacha system where you actually have to roll a gacha to get a very specific class for your character. So to clarify further, one of my Discord members, Will DSC, actually told me that these are the companion who will fight together close to your character. So it is very similar to the assister that we originally have on the PC version. And he also sent me a bunch of screenshots. We have the housing system, we have the like TCA, we have the inventory system, and then we have these ferry system, some kind of summon system for the assistant as such, and we have companion system. And going forward with the companion system where you summon like a gadget system, you also have a bunch of different color effects as well. I think the rainbow version, if you notice on the bottom right here, is actually like an SS tier or something. And then going forward with their cashier selection, but also creation as well. These are perfect in my opinions because we know exactly what we are getting for the game itself. Now, I do have extra screenshot over here. I do have another extra inventory screenshot. This is actually one of the sources wheel and we have the inventory of the weapon itself. Now, I know that there are two different currency. There is going to be the silver and the other ones is going to be TP or I guess purple coins or some, some kind of like premium currency that you are going to use in your account. And next, we have the battle screenshot. I think this is the wizard class, in my opinions. I noticed that there's a magic shield, there is magic bows, and we have some kind of weird skills. I think that's a chain lighting or some kind of lightning skill. I don't know. It's really hard to tell because of the text and everything, but it's kind of curved the whatever UI. And the next one is going to be, I get the story mode. There's going to be a story mode. There is going to be a female thesis. Now, I know a lot of people have been kind of making meme out of this because she is supposed to be a male version. If you have not seen the male version, male thesis, then I do recommend checking out the following screenshot. This is the male thesis. So basically, we have a female thesis on the mobile version instead of a male version on the PC version. I guess that I don't know how to put it there, to be honest. I don't know why they turned thesis into a females. I have a lot of questions, but you know, I, I just don't know, to be honest. Next is going to be another story mode for the Trio of Saber mobiles. And then we have the actual in-game screenshot of the game itself. Now on the top left corner, it's going to be your UI, your HP, your buffs, etc. And then we have the quest UI as well. And then on the bottom right, it's going to be your, I guess the 
UI for combat. We have a bunch of skill. We have six skill slot, by the way. Well, seven if you count the big one in the middle. So I don't know whether we are going to get some kind of tap target switch like we have on the Black Desert mobiles. That would be really nice, by the way. So the last image is going to be the hidden camera. So basically, it's the same as the Alt A on your keyboard in the PC version, where you hide every single UIs and you take a perfect screenshot of your character along with the environments and the background. So that's pretty good in my opinion. Anyway, that is pretty much for this video. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoy the title content that I'm doing on YouTube, then consider subscribing or dropping a like on this video to help me out. My name is Adochi, and I will see you all in the next video. Peace out.